Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can use different types of checkout form layouts within your funnels uh, when using WP Funnels. So let's begin. As you can see, I have WP Funnels installed and activated and I've already created a funnel here. Let me go ahead and edit this. And once I edit this, it's going to take me to the funnel mapping canvas, which is the visual drag and drop canvas. And here you can see this is a four step funnel, the landing, the checkout, the upsell and thank you. So let me quickly go ahead and view uh, how my checkout page looks right now. As you can see, this is how it looks. Okay. So now, uh, depending on the builder you choose, you can obviously edit the funnel page and change the design. Okay. So let me just edit the checkout page for this funnel. And it's going to open up in Elementor because that's my preferred page builder. If you have other preferences, you can go uh, and change that in the settings uh, tab in WP Funnels. Okay. So here you can see this form is actually a widget. This is the checkout widget for WP Funnels. If you click on this, it gives me the options on the left side. And here I have the option to choose a layout. Right now, the layout you're viewing is the two column layout. I can change it to a single column layout that looks like this. Okay. And then I can also choose some other layouts such as the two step checkout layout, which means this will be two steps. The first step is going to collect information from the people and the second step is going to allow them to make the payment. Okay. Then I have another layout called the multi-step checkout, which gives me three steps. Okay. So the billing, the shipping, and then finally placing the order. And the most popular one that we have is the express checkout, which makes a distraction free checkout process, you know, taking them through steps while they can still see the orders. And within these steps, you can place order bumps. Uh, and uh, in the shipping, you can choose the shipping fees. In the payment section, uh, you can uh, just make the payments. So it's distraction free. So whichever layout you choose to use, uh, you can use it and make it blended with the design in your page. These are all responsive and uh, it's easy to control. You can even customize the styles based on your page builder. So if I go to style, I have the option to change uh, so many things for this checkout form. Okay, so uh, in the future videos, I'm going to explain each of these layouts separately so that you know how to control them however you want. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you in one of my next videos. Take care.